In today's video, I'm going to show you how to draw this Christmas wreath using Python code. We're going to be using the turtle module within Python to draw these images on the screen. So to get started, you're going to need to pop over to your Python editor. I use the program called Mu, but you can use whichever one you would like. And the first thing we're going to do today is simply import all the functions from the turtle module. So we write from turtle import and put in an asterisk and that's just yeah bringing in all the functions as I said before from the turtle module to allow us to draw on the screen. Now just a quick little setup of my page today I'm going to set my drawing speed to zero which means we're going to be drawing all the shapes on the screen as fast as possible and I'm going to set my background color which is the BG color tag we're going to set that to black. Alrighty so now that my page is set up the first thing I'm going to draw today is the green wreath itself. So as you can see, it's a bit of a spirograph pattern here. What it is, is a whole bunch of circles overlapping one another. And I'm also gonna use a few different shades of green to give it that, I guess, kind of wreath look. So I'm gonna put in a comment first here that just says wreath. And I'm gonna bump the pen size up to size two. So just a little bit thicker than the usual size one. Now I want to move down the page a little bit to start drawing my wreath. So I'm going to have to lift my pen up off the page first of all. And then I'll go to a new set of coordinates. I'm going to stay on zero for the X axis and set my Y axis to minus 100. And that's just going to move me down the page a little. Once in position, I can put my pen back down, ready for drawing. And we can start to draw this wreath. Now it's a bit of a confusing loop here that we're going to do to create this um, wreath. So what we're doing is we're drawing one green circle to start with and then we're going to loop it a lot of times basically and we're going to go round and round and round and just keep overlapping green circles until we get this shape. So this is how we write it. We start by doing for i in range 13. Put a colon at the end. That's basically saying what we're going to do is repeat the code below here 13 times. Okay, that's all that line is saying. Now, the next line of code is another loop. Okay, we could uh, write the letter I here, but just to keep it simple, I might go for colors in. And I'm gonna bring out my square brackets. I think they're called braces. And in the square braces here, I'm going to write the different shades of green I wanna include in my wreath. So I'm gonna go with three different shades here. One of them is called forest green. The other one's called dark green. And the final green is called lime green. Make sure you've got quotation marks around each of those and a comma separating the three colors. And then close off your square uh, braces there and put a colon at the end. So what we've got now is a loop that's saying we're gonna repeat the code below this 13 times. And then we've got another loop here. And basically it's gonna repeat what's below it three times because we've got three different colors here. All right, so a little bit confusing with that nested loop, but just work with me here and you'll see what it does in a sec. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set our color to the word colors here. So each time our loop runs, we're gonna go through these colors one by one, changing our circles as we go. So the first circle we draw is gonna be forest green. And as the loop runs around a second time, it'll change to dark green. And when it runs the third time, it'll go to lime green. And then it repeats that whole process all over again. And it will do that 13 times. So we're gonna have 13 times three, whatever that equals. Um, that's the amount of circles we'll have on the page. Okay, so we've got our colors sorted there. Now we just need to draw the circle itself. So the size of the circle is gonna be 150 steps for the radius. Um, after each circle, we want to turn the left 10 degrees and just jump forward 20 steps. And that's it. I know that looks a little bit confusing, but that is how you overlap those green circles uh, and get that wreath effect. So let's save that. I'll just have to stick it on my desktop, give it a name like wreath, and give it a run. And you can see the circles drawing and you can see each time a circle is drawn it will change color as well but you're left with a pretty cool effect that i reckon somewhat resembles a christmas wreath so that's the first part of our wreath done 
Next thing we want to do is draw this red ribbon. Okay, so this isn't too easy either. We've got a lot of fiddling around with different coordinates here. So what we might start with is the bow itself. So these triangle kind of shapes here. So I'm going to put a hashtag in and just say ribbon bow. And we're going to lift our pen up off the page first of all to go to a new set of coordinates and then go to minus 95 on the x-axis. So we're moving a little bit to the left hand side of the page. And for the y-axis we're going to go to 110 which is taking us up the y-axis or up a little bit higher in the page. Once in position you can put your pen back down and we're going to set our colour here to oops, dark red for the outline colour. And then put a comma and in the new set of quotation marks choose red for the fill colour. So when you choose two colours here, the first colour is always the outline colour, second colour is always the fill colour. Alright, so we've got the colours set, so let's um, draw our shape. So we're going to have to go forward 200 to start with, and then turn right 120 degrees. Then we're going to go forward 100, right 120 degrees again. This time we're going forward 200, left 120, and then forward 100. I think I've written that right. So let's just have a look and see what that does. So we'll get our green wreath like usual. And there's our Christmas bow at the top. That looks pretty good. And you just need to fill it in with a colour now. So up here back on line 23 where I put the colours in, what I'm going to do on the next line is turn my fill colour on by writing begin fill. That just says everything below here is going to be filled in with a colour now until it sees the words end fill. So make sure you put end fill at the bottom there and that will just color your uh, ribbon in with that dark red outline and then the red fill color. All right, so that's looking pretty good so far. Now in the middle of our ribbon here, we want to draw a little circle. So I'm going to put another uh, hashtag here, so another comment. It says circle in bow, uh, ribbon, sorry. And again, we'll loo the pen up and go to tricks. So we're going to go to some coordinates uh, that are minus 40 on the x-axis and 160 on the y-axis. And then we're going to put our pen back down. Once in position, I'll turn my fill color back on and we're just going to draw a simple circle at size 30 for the radius. And then we'll end our fill. And that should put a little circle in the middle of the bow at the top. There we go, that's the top of our ribbon done. So that's looking good. Next thing we're going to do is do those dangly bits that you see um, hanging down here on the ribbon. I don't know what they're called, we'll just call them dangly bits. So I'll put in a another comment here that says left dangly bit in ribbon. And as always, we'll do the pan up and go to trick. We're going to minus 25 on the x-axis now and 132 on the y-axis. Been a bit specific there. Put our pen down, we're ready to start drawing. And I'm just going to turn my fill colour straight on here, so I'll put begin fill on. Now first thing I want to do is turn right 20 degrees to make sure we're facing the right way. We're then going to go forward 130 steps and then left 80 Degrees. We'll go forward another 60 steps and turn left very accurately here at 118 degrees. Forward 150 to finish things off. And let's just end our fill there. Okay, that should give us the left dangly bit of the ribbon. So let's give that a test run as well. All right, so far so good. So let's just do the right hand side now with the right dangly bit of the ribbon. Um, I'm going to have to go down a little bit lower here. I might make a bit more room. Another hashtag to write a comment. I want to say right dangly bit of ribbon. All right, so for this, we're just going to turn our fill back on. We're not actually going to move coordinates. We should be able to be, we should be right to just draw where we currently are. So begin fills turned on, we'll turn right 92 degrees, go forward 5, 
just to get us to our starting point. Turn right 80, uh, forward 150, left 110 degrees, forward 60. Uh, where are we going? Left 89 degrees now, and forward 139 to finish off. Make sure you end the fill off there, and let's see if we get our right hand side dangly bit of the ribbon working. Fingers crossed. There we go, so that looks pretty good. I think I'm happy with how that red ribbon is looking. So the last thing we really need to do now is just add these little red and yellow decorations that go around the outside of the ribbon. Um, there's not much to those, so let's just stop that code running and put them in. We'll start with the yellow ones. I'm going to put in a hashtag here that says yellow decoration one. We've got about three or four of them to put in, so we will number them. Um, so I'll bring my pen up and go to some coordinates here. I'll go to minus 150 on the x-axis and 20 on the y-axis. So we're over to the left-hand side and going up just a little bit from halfway. We'll put our pen down once in position and change our color here to gold for the outline color and yellow for the fill color. We'll turn our fill on and we'll draw a circle, a very small circle like that at size 10. And then we'll end the fill. That's all you need to do for the decoration. Just move to the coordinates you want and draw a simple little circle. So let's have a quick squeeze at that. There we go, he's over there now. Looks a bit funny with the turtle sitting on the side there, but when he hides, oh, that'll look pretty good. Okay, so instead of writing that code all over again for the next couple of decorations, what I'm gonna do is just a quick copy and paste job here. So I'm gonna copy and paste all of that yellow decoration code by highlighting it and pressing Control C. I'll go down lower and paste it in by pressing Control V. And I'm gonna just change a couple of things here. I'll change the comment to say yellow decoration two. And I'll change the coordinates here to 140 on the X axis and minus 50 on the Y. And we can get rid of this color because our color's already set up above it to gold and yellow, so we don't need to write that extra line of code. And that ought to do us for the second decoration. So let's just test that to make sure it's working. See if the copy and paste job worked for us. Yep, so we got one over there now. Um, let's just copy and paste yellow decoration two here. And we'll put in yellow decoration number three. What we need to change here are the coordinates again. So we're going to go to minus 30 on the x-axis and minus 130 on the y-axis. And copy that one more time and paste it below to do yellow decoration number four. And again, just change the go-tos here. So we're going to go to 120 on the x-axis and 110 on the y-axis. And that should give us all the yellow decorations we need. <coughs> so let's have a look here. Beautiful. So what we'll do now is just throw in some little red decorations and that'll probably do us for our wreath. So I'm gonna paste, whoops, I'm just gonna paste that bit of code back in down below, but I'm gonna change the comment to say red decoration one. I'm gonna change the coordinates here to 140 and 40. So 140 and 40. Uh, we'll need to put the color back in here because we're going to change from yellow now and we're going to go to the dark red outline again like I did with the ribbon and the red fill color again. I think that was a pretty good combo. Uh, everything else is going to stay the same. So that'll give us our first red decoration. So we'll give that a quick test. If it looks good, we'll do the copy and paste job and put in a few more. Okay, that worked nicely. So let's just stop that code and we'll copy and... Oops, Computer's freezing on me, there we go, whoops. We'll copy and paste this red decoration one down below and rename it to red decoration two. We're just gonna change the coordinates it's going to. We're gonna to go to minus 120 on the x-axis and minus 80 on the y. And again, get rid of the color. You don't need it anymore because we've written it just above here. We don't need to set it again as it's already set. So just save as a line of code. 
And we can just copy and paste that a couple more times to do the last two decorations. So there's red decoration 3. It's going to go to 60 on the x-axis and minus 120 on the y. And if we paste that code in one more time, we'll do the final red decoration 4, which is going to go to minus 135 and 110 on the y-axis. And that'll do us for the decoration. So let's have a quick squeeze. This will be bringing us pretty close to our finished product. So there's the wreath. The ribbon looks good. Yellow decorations and red decorations all in and looking the part. So the final thing I want to do is just add a message at the top that says Merry Christmas and down the bottom that says and happy and a happy new year. Okay, so popping back over to our code, let's finish things off. I'm going to put in a Oops, I'm going to put in a comment first that just says message. It's just like a little um, Christmas message here. We'll lift our pen up and we'll go to some coordinates up the top first. So minus 170 will take us to the left side of the page and 250 will take us near the top on the y-axis. Put our pen down once we're in position and change our color to white. So we've got some white text. And to add some text in, all you need to do is put in the word write. And in brackets, put in what you want to write. So I'm going to write Merry Christmas in quotation marks. And then if you want to style up the text, just put a comma and you can write font equals and choose whatever font it is you want. You'll need to put it inside um, brackets and quotation marks. I'm just going to go with Arial because I know Arial um, is on most people's computers. Put a comma and choose the size of your font. Set 25 for this one. And then if you want, you can also put bold in quotation marks. That'll just thicken up the text a little bit. Now you've got two sets of brackets here to close, so make sure you put two brackets at the end. Got those brackets just there, and then we've got the full line that we need to close off. And that's just going to write Merry Christmas at the top of the page. So we'll test that in a moment because I also want to write one more thing at the bottom of the page. So we need to lift our pen up again here and just move our coordinates down to minus 215 which takes us way over to the left hand side of the page and minus 250 on the y axis which is taking us fairly low down the page. Once in position as always we put our pen back down ready for drawing and we're just going to do the same as before where we're going to write a message. So in brackets and quotation marks write and a happy new year. Close off the quotation marks and if you want again style it up. Now I'm just going to copy and paste my style from over here because it's exactly the same. So the font's going to equal Arial, size 25 and it's going to be bold. Alright that is about it. Last line of code I'm just going to put hide turtle bracket bracket which will hide that little turtle that's drawing all the pictures for us. Let's give it a test run. Let's see what we've got. Wreath's all good, ribbon's all good, decorations look good, and the text has appeared in the exact spots that I wanted it to see. So that is a cool little Christmas card, I guess, um, that is made using Python's Turtle module. When done, save it up, and you are finished.